To our state's capital, a new bill could land families with transgender children in serious trouble with the law. Supporters of the bill say it'll protect children. Opponents say it will only cause harm. 13 on your side's Nate Bell joins us now with those details. Nate. Yeah, Juliet Val, House Bill 6454 would classify providing minors with gender affirming care as first degree child abuse. That could land the parents of those children in prison for life. A local LGBTQ plus advocacy group says the bill, which is co-sponsored by an Ottawa County representative, sends the wrong message to an already vulnerable population. I think that this bill is cruel. Cruel and extreme, says Aaron Knott of Equality Michigan. House Bill 6454 um, is acknowledged to be the most extremist anti-trans bill introduced in any state legislature. And while it would put medical decisions for children in the hands of the government instead of their parents, Knott says the most distressing part is the motivation behind the bill. It sends another message to our LGBTQ kids, uh, in particular trans and non-binary youth, uh, that their lives don't matter. State Representative Luke Meerman from Coopersville co-sponsored the bill. In a statement to 13 on your side, he compares gender affirmation care to consuming alcohol, saying in part, the law requires individuals to be 21 because it is dangerous to their development. He says we certainly shouldn't allow minors to make life-altering and irreversible changes to their bodies, and adults shouldn't be allowed to make that decision for them. It is allowing the government to make medical decisions on behalf of patients and families in Texas, a similar rule has been in effect as a result of an executive action from Governor Greg Abbott. The families in Texas are under a lot of stress right now. It's been really difficult. LGBTQ plus advocacy group Equality Texas says parents in Michigan could suffer the same distress. There have been um, nearly a dozen families that have left the state to go to other places where they're not in fear of CPS knocking on their door or harassing their children at school. A similar bill introduced in Texas didn't pass into law, requiring that circumvention by Texas's governor and attorney general. Not feels confident the bill will also not pass here in Michigan, but encourages people opposed to the bill to contact their local representatives. Thank you, Nate.